Hello, good morning, everyone. I'm called Derek Baluku, a software developer at MEDS, and I'm going to present you about reporting and data quality validation in Uganda EMR. So uh, in Uganda EMR, we've been using uh, the new app, which we call the Data Visualizer, for our reporting, which basically depends on uh, the already existing modules uh, at the back end. We have the OpenMRS reporting module, which provides us with um, a lot of, of reusability of uh, things like code definitions, report definitions. You can define your own reports and DTC. We have the reporting compatibility, which helps us in building our own reports, our data exports. You can define what you want. Uh, and then we have the Mamba ETL, which majorly helps us on uh, the huge reports which we don't need to process for long. We just want to reduce on the time. So it auto computes and flattens data and then we we have little time of processing data for reporting. Be that's basically mostly used on uh, aggregate reports and uh, on huge data exports of data that has a lot of columns. So we auto compute the data, save them in member tables and retrieve as fast as possible when we need it. And then for our customizations regarding reporting, we have a module called Uganda EMR Reports, which we have basically only Uganda EMR Reports issues right there. And then uh, talking about data quality validation, we have uh, an Open EMRS module which, has, which was built by Bamni and uh, other team members, which is called the Data Integrity Module. Now, uh, as we moved into using data, data use, we have collected data, you know, we have our clinicians doing this, their work properly, we have data now in the EMR, and uh, more requests came into now, how are using this data? And uh, previously, uh, we have seen people who have shown us the data leak, we have seen people who have shown us machine learning, we have seen people who have shown us uh, other, 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 other tools that they use for data use. As we move into data use, we realize that we realize that we are having some data that is incomplete, inaccurate, and uh, inconsistent. So we realized we might have had gaps way before, and we need to ensure that we have quality data at the facility, such that when we can come into issues like machine learning, we are developing models, we have quality data. So we, we, ha we ought to have to manage our quality of our data. So please, previous previous slide. Yes, so the data integrity module came in to make sure that we have, we can fix issues with our data while at the, at the patient level. So that's where we, we, we opt to come in and push this data integrity module to have it, it done. So next slide, please. So the data visualizer as as was presented yesterday in one of the talks, uh, we we have we can build our own reports. We can we can build our own reports using the reporting definitions, uh, the usual way we do it right now. In, or we can also build our dynamic reports. And then the data visualizer gives us a preview. Uh, you can see this down here. We can have a preview of our data columns of our patients. And then from this preview, we can even develop charts out of it using the data visualizer, which has what we call the pivoting. And then the Mamba, which we have already talked about, helps us to retrieve this data in just a few, a few seconds. Next slide. Then data integrity module, in summary, um, it is just having a set of rules for your quality of data. For example, you say uh, every exposed infant above 18 should have a final outcome, okay? So once you run these rules, you get then results. Like for example, this infant, number that, who is over 18 months has no final outcome. So then when a clinician is seeing this patient again, they are able to go and give them a final outcome because we need this data for, for future use. So that is uh, a summary of how we, we, we picture the data integrity model to work and that's how it is working now. So what do we want? Next slide. So right now we have something like this. 
It's a page where you see every patient with their issue regarding the data and the role that we have put in there. And then we have a link to say fix issue. Next. So what we, what we want is that in O3, we want to have something like a patient flag which shows these are the issues we have. Click on the, on the tag and then have these fish issues, issues fixed. And then once we have that, we shall, we shall be good to go. So what do we need? We need, we need uh, approaches to this. We need to have rules configurable. We need to have uh, data gaps. We need to see where we can display the data gaps, where a clinician can see that this patient has this data gap, and then where we can execute rules, and then fixing the rules. And then what we need from you is contribution from me, you, and you, and you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Derek.